everyone welcome back to my channel so for today's video i am very very excited because today's video i'm bringing you my first ever homeware haul so as you guys know 2021 is the year that i plan to move out and get my own place with adam and i've been collecting all of these things should we say for the house I'm surrounded in it at the moment. I thought I had more than this. For some reason, I, I felt like I had like a massive pile of things, but looking at it now, there's actually not a lot. And there's a lot of stuff that we need. I mainly got kitchen stuff looking at it. A couple of bathroom things, but not very much, but there's, yeah. We, we're gonna need a lot more stuff, but either way, we're quite prepared at the moment for the kitchen thing. So there is a lot of things that I've collected over the last like two years. I've been sent things from brands. I've bought things myself, things in the sale. I bought some things off Amazon. I will link everything that I can down below, especially one thing that I bought like last week. I'll mention the things that I gifted and which aren't that I've bought myself, etc. and how much they are. I'll let you know all the pricings and everything. But yeah, I'm really excited for this. I can't wait to put it into our own home whenever we get it. And of course, moving vlogs will be coming whenever they happen. I'll keep you guys updated over on my Instagram. Please do follow my Instagram to see what is going on because I keep Instagram updated more than anywhere else. And also I'm doing TikTok a lot more. So follow me over on TikTok. It's just the same as every handle. It's Isabel Celine. Yeah, follow me on TikTok. I'm very active on there at the moment. Without further ado, I'm going to stop waffling and just show you everything that I've got. So first off, we will start with this steamer that I bought this year from Morrison's for £20 in the sale because I am planning on having a dressing room which me and Adam will share and I thought instead of getting an, getting an iron I thought a steamer might be better obviously we might need an iron anyway to iron like uniform on the daily etc or something like that or press shirts or something a steamer might be easier it's just £20 in the sale so I was quite happy with this it's from Tefal and um, I've never used a steamer before Adam's mum introduced me to them and I also saw them all over on Instagram especially like last year no like, not last year year before I've seen them all over on Instagram and I was like okay need to give this a go might make my life so much easier instead of ironing all the time quite happy with that and it, it kills bacteria quite happy with that it also comes with a fabric brush as well but this is what it looks like it looks like a little bit of a laser gun in a way and it's super light apparently even though this is boxes like well I would say it's heavy but yeah it's a decent size and I think it was down from £44 I'm not entirely sure but I know I paid £20 for this why am I going to put everything in like there's so much stuff right now. Okay, so I'm just gonna go on to things randomly. Now, this I showed in my, what I got for Christmas vlog. And as I said I would, I kept this lovely glass, I hope I haven't scratched it. This lovely glass from, glass mug, should I say, from Lizzie. Hello Lizzie, be on YouTube. And I said I would not use this until we get a house. And as I said, it's still staying in the packaging until we get a house so that no one breaks it in this house. Well, I absolutely adore this. The fact it's got my name on it, it's just so lovely. And it's from an independent business, which I was very, very happy with. I've got that Babushka song stuck on my head from TikTok. It's really annoying me. We have lots of like little knickknack things that I don't know where we're going to put, which we've got from holidays, like this little, I would say Russian doll, but it's a Polish doll because I got it from Poland. It's one of them little... You know, the things that you open and then there's more in there. Well, that was a horrible noise. But yeah, I have one of those that we got from Poland when we went to Krakow. I did a vlog, um, well, I think, yeah, a vlog whilst I was there. If you guys ever want to watch that. Absolutely beautiful country. Absolutely loved it there. We would definitely go again. And um, so this is one of the souvenirs. We have a lot of souvenirs from holidays, which I don't know where we're going to put, but I might put it around the dressing room, maybe around the living room or something. I don't know where we're going to put them when we eventually have a house but I have loads of these little knickknack things that I don't know what I'm going to do with and then I have this holder from Luna who's called Burst of Autumn my lovely friend who sent me this for Christmas to put my brushes in but you know what I think I might put this in my bathroom and use it as like a toothbrush holder because like I don't actually have anything like that and I thought this would look really nice because it's such a simplistic kind of holder and I thought that would look nice in the bathroom could you put a plant in there? no you can put a plant in there because there's no hole at the bottom so I brush holder it's still the same thing Toothbrush holder. Okay, so something that I picked up for £5 from Asda. Oh my god, it's so heavy. Last year. Please, please. If you see dust, please ignore it. I'm of course going to wash these when we eventually use them. Um, but everything's kind of like, I've been sat under my bed the whole time. Because I've got no space in my room whatsoever. So under my bed they go. But I have a three piece roaster set. And it's a ceramic set. I do apologise for the noise of it. But I'm so happy with like the different sizes. Especially the little baby one. I like that would be really cute for like say if I wanted a casserole to myself and Adam didn't want one I wanted to make one 
perfect size there. And this was £5 for this big set. And I, I just imagine like the pasta mix I can make and the casseroles. Yeah, I'm just so excited to have a kitchen way. Staying along the line of kitchen things. Oh, there's a random bauble in there from Christmas. Elf one, I got that quite a couple of years ago for 50p. I thought we'd have, um, we actually, oh my God. We actually have a Christmas tree in Adam's, Adam's boot that we've had in there for about a year. We bought it for like six pounds from Tesco. And because we've had nowhere to store it, Adam's just kept it in his boot the whole time. So we've got a six foot one and a three foot one. Gotta grab bargains while she can. And in here we have like lots of tea towels. So like from when we went to Zanti and Ibiza, we saved them all. I thought I'd buy them because it'd be really nice to have those little touches in our house when we eventually get it. And here I have a set from Zanti and this is a really cute oven glove because obviously we need these little things and that is just freaking adorable. And it's got a little turtle on it and the island that we visited. It's just so nice. It's such a nice memory as well. And I love how there's a tea cozy with it. How cute. Don't know if we're actually going to use that, but be cute, I suppose. Then we have a... Oh, no, we've got a matching tea towel as well from my Zanti set. How cute is that? Turtle on it because we actually saw a turtle whilst we were there. And that was like one of the best memories when we were there. It was just so lovely. Yeah, I, I like these little touches that we have that we can add in there and put our own personal touch on and have all the memories around us. And then the next tea towel we have is this one from Ibiza. How cute is that? I love all the florals on it. I feel like it was so nice. So there's also, I can't even see it very well because I don't want to open it up. But there's like a nice bird on there as well. So that's going to look like a really nice tea towel. There's a hair on it. Right. And then one more tea towel that we have that was sent at Christmas time for my Christmas gift guide. If you ever want to shop small businesses, I have a blog post linking about 80 different small businesses through the Christmas period. But obviously you can shop them all year all year round. So uh, this is from a brand called, uh, what was it called? Love from the North or something? I can't remember what it was called, but it's a Newcastle brand. I think it's Love of the North or something like that. Either way, check my blog post out. I'll leave it linked down below. If you want to shop some small businesses, especially for like homeware and bits like that, or just little like birthday presents or things like that. And I have this gigantic tea towel. Obviously it's in a Christmas tree with a that Newcastle statue that's there. I really want to go to Newcastle. It looks like such a cool city. Let me know if you're from Newcastle. I'd love to visit there. But yeah, that's another tea towel that we have. So we have three. So we're actually okay with tea towels. But of course we're probably going to get some more when we eventually move out. Because we don't know what colour we're going to go for like the kitchen and things. We don't know any of that yet. So also I'm going to be doing a massive declutter of my room. And getting rid of things that I don't need to like. Get rid of loads of things that I don't need. Like especially my wardrobe. There's so many clothes that I have that I haven't worn in the last year. Obviously because we haven't been anywhere. But there's a lot of things that I don't go towards. Because it's not my style anymore. Because as you can see my style has changed massively. Still got my beige in my head. So the next thing we have is cutlery. So my mum actually got us this set for Christmas because she didn't really know what to get us. Obviously this year we plan to move out. So she bought us this absolutely gorgeous Fox and Ivy cutlery set. And it's just so nice. I love how it's silver and it has the engraving of Fox and Ivy on the knife. I absolutely love the Fox and Ivy range at Tesco. I feel like it's such good quality. It looks so classy. Everything that they make is so gorgeous, especially the vases and the cushions. I really like those. Yeah, I've got this 16 piece cutlery set that I'm quite excited for. It just looks so posh. Also, I think this was £20 in Tesco, as far as I remember. Next, we have a bamboo serving tray. Now, I'll get this out so you can actually see what it looks like. So, I actually featured this in my Christmas gift guide and the small businesses one that I was speaking about. And um, Von Chef have so many kitchen bits and I have like three different things from them in this haul. Um that these were kindly sent to me over the Christmas period. And this serving tray is absolutely stunning. Like how nice is that the two different colours of the bamboo together. I feel like that would be such a nice serving tray for like parties or like say if you want a cheese board or like little snacks and drinks that you want to take into the living room or when you got a party or something like that when we can party um but yeah i feel like this is such a snazzy classy serving board i love how there's like little gold details to it as well at the end and you can easily carry it like that and it also has the bomb chef engraving here as well it's just such good quality i think it was like 15 pound oh it's got these little things on the end as well so it doesn't get doesn't mark the table so the next thing from Bon Chef, which I was kindly gifted over Christmas, is this round cheese board. Now, this is one of the things that I am very, very excited about because I can have a vegan cheese board. Now that I've seen that there's vegan camembert, 
the excitement I had for that was crazy. But yeah, I'm gonna get this out and show you what it looks like. It's like a double cheese board and whittle. And it has like the little knives with it as well. Now I've got to remember how this works. So it's this way. It has a slate on the top. How posh is that? And you can actually take it out if you wanted to clean it. But obviously I'm gonna keep that in there. Um, so that's really nice. And then we have a little bottom section if I can remember how to open it. There we go. And how nice is that set? That's just absolutely stunning. Like, especially like just sat there on the side. You can even use it as a shopping board if you wanted to. I don't think I would because I don't want to mess up the slate. No, I mean, I'll probably trash it. Yeah, it comes with these lovely little critting knives. Like there's a little fork style one there. A little knife there. I don't know what these are called, guys. So um, that looks like one of them plastering things. And then a little baby knife. Yeah, that's a really, really lovely set. And I am so grateful to the Bond Chef team that actually sent me these out at Christmas time. It's just honestly incredible. I absolutely love it. I love how it's like this dark wood. And it's got Bond Chef on the end of there as well. It's just like such a nice mixture of wood because Adam actually loves oak things as well. And we plan on having like oak things in the house. Not oak everything because I'll, I will hate it. Um, but yeah, oak especially in the kitchen. So the next thing I have from Bond Chef, again, which was kindly gifted to me over the Christmas period, if you want to see some pictures of all these pieces like closer up definitely check out my blog post um but this is a stand mixer now you guys know i love a bit of baking especially over on my instagram now that comes with three different oh, that wasn't supposed to happen three no four there's this little swizzly one a whisk and then there's a little upper stick no two whisks but one's got more metal bits to it than the other so the stand has like a little bowl and you can actually remove it to use it as a hand mixer as well. I don't want to get everything out because it's just going to be a ball egg to get back in again. But here is the bottom bit. I don't think you can see it very well with plastic. I know I'll just it off. That is what it looks like. Such a decent size as well. I love the size of that bowl. We have a lot of cooking and baking videos, guys, when I eventually move out. And I can't wait. Me all the food content did you guys know I, I love making a what I eat in a week or what I eat in a day kind of video a vegan style and a little bit of baking also if you like baking I did a vegan lemon fizzle cupcake kit by Bosch the other week so go and check that out if you want to go and see that and have a little bit of a um, little bit of a mouth watering session over the lovely cupcakes that I made okay that's everything on my bed done now let's get to the stuff on the floor so this box is from Amazon and it is this amazing knife set that came from Amazon and I got it in the sale for, I originally saw this on Misha's Instagram, Misha Grimes Instagram and she said how sharp they were so that was a bit concerning but obviously you want knives to be sharp when you're cutting your veg and everything like that. So it's a 16 piece set, I'll leave this link down below if you guys want to go shop this yourself. It comes with a knife sharpener, a 8 inch shears, a paring knife, well 3 inch and a 3.5 paring knife, I don't know what any of these mean, I'm just, I just know that I like. Steak knife, utility knife, tom tomato knife, plain pink, santaki, santaku, I don't know, knife, carving knife and a chef knife. Now this is a massive massive set and it comes in this really big black stands so i thought that looked really really nice when we have our kitchen i thought i'd get this whilst it's in the sale even though we don't know what's happening yet um, but i thought i'd get it whilst it's on sale because like you know when you're sorting things out to move out it's good to like collect things whilst they're on sale and just like even if you've got like a little bit of space and just like collect things because it saves money in the long run it really does so i'm very very happy with this now this is one of the biggest things I have. Now if you guys watch my Primark hauls and you're a long term subscriber, you will know that I absolutely adore my Primark hauls. And in my not so recent one, I bought, ah my elbow, I bought this bar cart. Because I honestly, I don't know where I put it, I honestly don't have a clue. But I, I know I wanted it and it looked amazing so I was like £34 from Primark I don't know whether they'll still have them when they eventually back open back up in the UK because we're still in lockdown when I'm filming this Ooh. but yeah I thought this looked absolutely stunning it just looks so nice so I had to have it even if it ends up in a dressing room or something and it ends up being like a makeup stand I don't know I just had to have it because it was gorgeous and gold so more kitchen stuff 
Now, I think this was probably about a year and a half ago, maybe two years ago now. I um, saw the Asda Unicorn Unicorn stuff back when I absolutely adored unicorns. I bought all the unicorn kitchen stuff. Now, don't get me wrong, I used to absolutely adore unicorn stuff. And when I bought this, I thought it was the best thing ever. And now I'm like, do I still want it? Hell yeah, look at this biscuit tin. And I don't even love unicorns as much as I used to, but look how amazing that is for a biscuit tin. I thought it's so unique and it's oh, my phone's going off. So unique and I thought that looked absolutely adorable. I don't absolutely hate it, but I was like, it's it's unicorn head comes off and you can store all the biscuits inside. Even if I use it as something else, I don't know, I just I had to have it. I think it was like six pound at the time and I was done. This was like a year and a half ago. But this is my favourite thing. I love it. Okay, next thing, going on to a little bit of a bathroom thing. I will get back to the kitchen stuff, but this is like the last bathroom thing, I think. Not like there was many bathroom things in there anyway. Um, but this is one of them bath caddies, which I actually was gifted to, uh, gifted this. Not Christmas gone, but Christmas before. This is how long I've kept stuff, guys. Like, this is how long I've been waiting. I was kind of gift gifted this from Beautify, and I will get it out so I can show you what it looks like. But I'm so excited about this. Like, it's another wooden style piece. Oh, and it's absolutely huge. Like, look how freaking big this is. It's massive. So it's a really, really decent size bath caddy. Did I do something fall out then? Yep, something's falling out. What is that? Oh, it's just a card. But what I love about this. Is it extend it, it, what? It extends so much. Like imagine if you had like a really wide bath. Oh, it's crazy. So it has like this. Let's just make it smaller. And um, so it has like this little box bit here. It has a drinks holder. Fluff in my mouth. It also has like this little stand here where you can put like your iPad or something on it. I don't really tend to use technology in the bath because I probably let you myself. But there's like some kind of weird holder here. But I think you can put like your book on here or your iPad or something or your laptop or whatever you want to put on it. But I thought, how nice is that? It kind of reminds me of piano in a way. I don't really know what this bit's about. Good that. Yeah, I don't really know what that's about. Could put a candle on there as well. Yeah, I thought it was an absolutely stunning piece. And considering how we like wooden things, it's going to re look really nice on the bath. So back to kitchen stuff, and I have this unicorn right there. Oh my god. So going back to the unicorn story, this was, I'm pretty sure, 10 or £12, or was it £8? It was really cheap anyway, for this big set, and I was obsessed with unicorns at the time, as you know. And I just had to have it, and I still love it now, I'm not going to lie. Oh, that almost fell off. Um, but we will be getting another plate set that me and Adam both like. But I will still use these on the daily because I love them. Especially the side plates. They are absolutely stunning. Like, can you guys see very well? But I thought that looks really, really sweet. To go with that, I even have the little teapot that says Believe in Magic, which is absolutely adorable. If I saw this in the shop now, I would not buy it. But seeing as I have it, I'll use it, especially when I have friends around and I'll make them tea. I'll be like, this is a special occasion to have a unicorn out. Unicorn teapot. Teapot? Unicorn teapot hour. I think this was like £4. Pound. 4 to £6, pound, I think. Something like that. And it's got like a little hole there where the tea comes out and this bit opens so you can put your tea bags in. I thought, well, I was the teapot, so I was like, why not get a unicorn one? It's actually really cute. It's really adorable, actually. I love how it all matches. So cute, but we are going to have another separate set because obviously Adam isn't a unicorn addict like I used to be. So I have this unicorn ooh, unicorn glass that my nan actually got me a couple of years ago. I can't remember what it was for. Possibly my 21st, I'm not sure. But either way, I think it was a birthday or Christmas that she got me this. And I have never used it. I wanted to say this when I got a house because it would be the only wine glass that I own. But that is absolutely lovely. It says, always be yourself unless you can be a unicorn and then always be a unicorn. There's a unicorn on there and nice little gems. And I thought that would be a nice thing to save. And obviously if I have a hero, it would get trashed. So I've always saved it in this box for when I move out. Then we have some unicorn highball glasses. Now these are very subtle unicorn things. So I thought these would be really nice when I have like some 
fruit juice or some squash or something in the house or something like that and these were i'm pretty sure one or two pounds so i thought you know what i had to pick them up that was the same time as that i bit, uh, picked up the rest of the other stuff up and um yeah i thought i had to have a matching set completely speaking of we're missing one thing of course we can't have a matching set without the mugs now these i would say are quite subtle for unicorn mugs and these were really nice i think this was three pound fifty for the set so overall the whole set probably would have cost me around 30 pound maybe 35 pound for the whole unicorn set and they were all from asda and um i really like these mugs they're really really cute and i actually have some mugs here that i don't know whether i'm going to take with me or not because my mum and stepdad always use them anyway so i don't know whether i'm going to use them because they've got like tea stains around so i don't know whether i'm going to take them or not yet obviously you can bleach them and things but i like to have new things when we move out so yeah i have these staying along the lines of kitchen things i have these angular tumblers for a pound from b&m and um, i think they're plastic but they look like glass they're only a pound so i thought i have some fancy little glasses just like you know cheap ones just to keep us going until we know what we want to get so yeah i have those i think i bought them like last year year before probably no last year i think then i have kept this little set that adam's mum got me for i think it's my birthday or christmas it's the Bayless and Harding Pink Prosecco and Elderflower Fragrance Limited Edition Cleansing Hand Wash and, and a Body Lotion. So this would be nice in either the one of the bathrooms or the kitchen. Really cute set. So we're nearing the end but we've got two things left. So we have this lovely frame that I think, oh sorry, the light, the light ring is like killing it. Um, so I think there's a couple of frames on my windowsill that I might put in here. I'm not too sure yet because the frames are getting a bit old and one of them's a unicorn one and I don't want to have that many unicorn things I feel like this is more simplistic and lovely looking so um, this will probably be like something that I put in the living room or something like that that's from Adam's mum a couple of Christmases ago I think and then last but not least because of course of course if I buy any more homeware stuff I will do a haul for you guys but again I have a beautify set which was gifted to me a couple of christmases ago and it's a i really wish i got a gold set now because i don't like rose gold as much anymore but this is a gorgeous regardless cocktail set like how lush is that it has a little sieve it has this thing don't know what it is but always like the look of it the little cocktail shaker um there's like a little cork thing there as well what else is in here there's a stirrer don't know what this thing is i'm guessing it mushes everything in and then there's like one of them little shop things but yeah this is a lovely set that i have but i really wish that I had a gold set or a black set or something like that that was more simplistic looking and i'm guessing that this oh yeah this is a cocktail recipe gift guide gift guide this is a cocktail recipe book that came with it as well which is really cool um i will link all the gifted items down below you guys can check them out i will try and link as many items as I can, like the tea fowl, the Von Chef things, the beautify things, the knife set, especially because that is a really good knife set from as far as I am aware, it's really good. So I cannot wait to actually start buying things properly. Like obviously we've got the big things that aren't gonna be a whole like a sofa, a fridge, a washing machine, walk-in wardrobe wardrobes, <laughs> for instance. There's just like so many things to get, it's just crazy when like it initially starts up so moving vlogs are coming i'm going to firstly do a decluttering video which i'll probably film in a couple of days time um so that might be up after this video but yeah i hope you've enjoyed this video apologies if it's been rather long but um thanks for coming on this journey with me and seeing what i've got for me and adam's future house yeah i'm really happy with it all but i can't wait to like start getting everything else ready for it like an air dryer a toaster a kettle saucepans and all them random utility th utility utensil things that you have in the drawer <laughs> so all the random things like a friggin can opener or something it did really excite me for some crazy reason um but let me know in the comments down below if you enjoyed this haul please do give this video a thumbs up if you have enjoyed this homeware haul and would like to see more from me homeware and lifestyle wise because i have a moving series coming very very soon i'm not going to tell you anything just yet you're just gonna have to wait like I have to but yeah thank you so much for watching guys thank you so much for coming along this journey and thank you so much to those of you that have subscribed and I know we have I know we have a very small community on here but it means the absolute world to me that even the fact that there is 600 of you at this time 
where I'm filming this. So um, I appreciate you all. Thank you so much for watching. Even like one view on a video, it means so much that you've took that time out of your day to watch what I have created. So thank you so much for that. And um, sending you all so much love during this time. And I hope you're all okay. I'm sending you all a big hug. So please do like, comment and subscribe. And I shall see you very, very soon for a brand new video. Bye, guys.